Right. Good morning, people. It is day 20. 20% 20 done of 100 days. And, you know, I think I've just kind of assimilated. It's just part of the daily schedule for me now. Of course, it's a little more involved because I need to do the, the film process and a little bit of an editing process and uploading takes uh, some time too. Um, but, uh, you know, if it uh, helps you all, then it's worth it, right? Okay, where are we? Um, I had a rough night last night, still getting rid of this flu, I think it is. And I'm at that coughing stage at the end, you know, and you know, when you have a bad cough, it's really hard to sleep. So that's where I was last night. But the energy is coming back and, you know, I'm doing things now. Uh, the sun came out. It's beautiful. So I hope my face isn't too bright in the film. I saw some of the previous ones where the face was really bright. All right. So I wanted to switch gears and I wanted to talk a little bit about the lower section, uh, talk about the legs and the different variations of sitting. And um, now I don't know too much of the yogic uh, posture of lotus and half lotus and whatnot, but what I'll explain a little bit is in terms of uh, the qigong aspect and uh, energy channels uh, about the sitting and the, the the legs so of course you can you can sit on a chair you can sit on a on a comfortable I sit I sit on a pillow you can sit on a mat some people now are are sitting on these small benches sort of like um, I call it um, Zen style sort of Japanese style on the knees and see, so some people can sit with their butt on the heel, um, but then some people prop up with a little stool, prop up their butt. And I actually tried one of those. Those are actually quite comfortable. They help to keep the spine erect and, and they also prevent a little bit of the, of the slouching, which in this posture, uh, easy to do. So the idea in terms of the energy so for our practice in embryonic breathing we want to store and we want to preserve in our bio battery in our energy center our dantian we want to store our energy and keep it from moving outward okay so the energy is always trying to move outward you have the channels coming out of the hands and arms and the channels coming um, through the legs as well and uh, so that's just the body itself. You know, waste is trying to move outwards as well. But the mind also carries your energy outward as well. When you have a thought, there's a lot of energy that goes into those thoughts. If you have something that's really worrying or troublesome on your mind, that's going to drain your energy as well. So going back to the legs, we what we want to do is close off the energy that is um, escaping from the legs close off that energy and keep it from moving lock those gates so any any energy coming from the uh, the hips legs downward into the feet we want to lock that down close that off and so that's going to access more energy to either store in the Dantian, um, circulate in our uh, energy vessels, or lead up into the upper Dantian. So whatever you want, whatever you want to do. What that also does is connects your Huiyin, the cavity at the very bottom um, between between your your geni genitalia and then the the anus the that's where the huiyin is it's that and there's an energy gate there and that sort of uh, uh grounds grounds you and then connects you to 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 the earth 
So you, now you have a straight path that doesn't have to go through the legs um, from your Dantian to, to the earth. So also something to think about, don't get really too, we don't get really too technical into this aspect. However, there are some meditation practices that include uh, knowing um, uh, the, techni the technical uh, gates, components, and the function. What we're interested in right now is just the idea of of closing closing the legs off, and so what that all what that also does is close close a little bit uh, closes off the the blood circulation. So a lot of people have a, a hard time sitting cross legged. That's a problem. And then some people who sit in the lotus with the foot one on top of the other, that's even more difficult. That takes time. Sitting cross leg takes time. Your, your legs, your feet will, um, they will, um, they will get pain, pains and, and soreness from, from the closing off the, the blood circulation. So that takes time. A lot of times in my long-term sessions, I just switch legs. So um, I have one leg crossed in the other one on top and then if I feel it, when I feel it, I just switch it. So there's also an energy aspect and you can feel that as well. Sometimes when I'm sitting on a couch or a chair and I have my feet crossed and then I let them down into the ground, I feel an opening, I feel a release of energy in that sense as well. So <clears throat> nothing too deep in, in that and of itself. If you can't feel it though, then there's there's not really an, an, an issue there, is it? So going back to your building that language of feeling, what is your level of, of feeling? And eventually over time, that's what the, that's what uh, is, is built, that language of feeling for yourself. All right, so if you have not, Let's all, let's go in and establish nice deep breathing pace, establish the posture. Establish your posture and then release any unneeded tension, unwanted tension. Let go of any muscle groups or tissues that are not needed to hold your posture. Try to keep your mind centered, keep it down in the Dantian, connect it with the breath. Be present here with your breath.
your mind starts to wander, it's okay, just bring it back. Build that reverence, build that appreciation, that gratitude for your breath. Take each minuscule, each small fraction of a second to appreciate that inhalation, the process. As your lungs fill, feel your body filling, feel your abdomen filling, your chest and lungs and feel your cells become oxygenated. saliva okay guys I'm gonna let it you go that will be it for day 20 yay 20% done okay you know I'm still having issues with you know the mind wandering and you probably have the same the mind wanders you know there's so many things on our minds how do you know, how do we prioritize? How do we problem solve? Meditation has been a huge help in problem solving for me. You know, a lot of a lot of ideas and a lot of strategies um, have come from meditation. And it's it's from those moments of stillness, quiet, uh, clear centeredness that ideas emerge so and and you can't you can't deny those ideas that come from that place you know the efficacy of those ideas it's it's unwavering you you know you can you can think logically consciously but when you sit and settle your energy and quiet your mind, become still and centered, there's just this, you know, small bubbles that surface. It's those bubbles that are priceless. Okay, well, I hope you all have a great weekend. Looks like the weather's going to be good here for a little bit. And uh, I'll let you guys go. I'll be back tomorrow. Breathe well and be well. Enjoy your day. Remember to integrate into your life.